Hey everyone, quick Adobe Lightroom 3.5 tip where I'm going to show you how to do a smart collection. Smart collections are basically a query to your photo database uh, with specific keywords and it's different than a standard collection in that you don't have to manually add your photos to basically this virtual fo folder in, in Lightroom. So let's say I had been to Hawaii rather than setting up a, a collection folder in, in this collection side and, and manually dragging and dropping the photo uh, into the collection for all my Hawaii pictures, I can utilize the power of the keywording feature of Lightroom and set up a smart query that says that whenever I have certain keywords, please pull those photos into this smart collection. Lightroom comes delivered with a certain amount of, um, of uh, pre-populated uh, smart collections such as uh, show me all my video files, show me all the files without keywords show me the photos I've taken in the last month for example and they're real easy to set up and I have a quick demo database that has only these amount of pictures in here and I wanted to do that for performance reasons but in order to get started with the smart collection you go to the I'm in the library module you go over to the collections section you do a left click on the plus sign you go to create smart collection up here you have the ability to name your collection I want to show all my Spyderco knives so find me all photos that have a Spyderco knife in them which I've also given a keyword of Spyderco so I'm just going to name it I can put it in a collection set I don't have any set up yet well I'll just use this generic top level collection here smart collection and this is where I set up my rules and this match function here says do you want to do you want the query to be required to match all rules or any of the rules so I'll put in the first rule here you go to this left uh, drop down box and you have all the metadata and the different uh, data defining your picture that uh, you may not enter yourself your camera just acquires for you or things that you do put in. So for this type of query, what I like to do is put in any searchable metadata, okay? And then I go to contains. You can do contains all, contains words, doesn't contain, starts with, ends with. I find that using the word contains, just using the contains function is the best way to go. Then you want it to, you need to tell it what to look for, Spyderco. And just to be extra precise, what I like to do is add another row of rules and put in any searchable text. Okay, and I'm going to use contains again, and I'm going to put in spider co. I can also put in uh, bench made here, but uh, I don't need to do that for now. Any searchable text. Okay, all, match all. Let's do match any of these rules. Okay, and hit create. And it's going to show you only the pictures that I have keyworded with Spyderco. And it also pulls in videos that I put in a keyword. See, the keyword section here, I have a keyword of Spyderco. Same here and here and show me all without a keyword it's a crappy photo here <laughs> uh, let's go back to the all photos section so i had some mountain drive photos nature photos and um, that i didn't have the word spider co in them so they didn't get pulled in so again all you have to do is go over here click on your smart collection and it automatically runs i have a spider co uh, h1 pacific salt here so that's it. I find them very handy. Um, my larger Lightroom database, I have many of these, so pull in all kinds of... Uh, try it out and, and see what you think. Later.